Imagine a system that can take up-to-the-minute news images direct from the Reuters image feed and match them against 30,000 works of art. That's exactly what the winner of this year's IK Prize has managed to pull off. Recognition by a team from Fabrica is an artificial intelligence program that uses image recognition technology to create a gallery of these bizarre and wonderful matches. Recognition analyzes the images in different ways to find similarities, and when it finds two images that have enough in common, it enters them in the online gallery as a match. The speed with which it can scan through Tate Britain's entire collection is something that no human brain could even come close to. Have a look at this room. It would take me, I don't know, a week to try and remember all of these. And even then, I'd probably forget most of them. So here's an example of how it works and what it does. And this is two images that perhaps couldn't be further apart. What's interesting is this kid, Denarf, looked like Paul McCartney. Um, I don't know if that's anything to do with it. What it's making me think is just how many millions of miles separate these two images, you know, in terms of uh, lifestyle, in terms of class, in terms of religion. I tell you what's interesting though, is Mrs. Carl Mayer's children look just as bored as this kid does in Jakarta. That's interesting. Now, here's another example, and I love this one. It's perhaps the most famous ears in the world after Martin Clunes. It's a brilliant picture. And the recognition system has brought up um, a picture called Landscape by Miles Burkett Foster. And at first glance, it's like, well, what's it done that for? But actually, they really, do, <laughs> they really do look similar. They do look similar. It turns out that Landscape by Foster looks surprisingly like the back of Barack Obama's head. I do feel I want to kind of, you know, draw some ears on it just to, just to complete it. And if you stare at the back of Barack Obama's head long enough, you can see a riverside scene developing. So that's how it works. The speed it does it is incredible. And it certainly makes you look at both images completely differently. It brings out things in both pictures that you may not have noticed if they were on their own.